I'm Lauren Cabe. I farm about 3,000 acres with uh, three of my uncles. We've uh, been pretty long-term no-till since the drought of 88. We went to a strip till. We raised corn, soybeans, and wheat. Our biggest issues we're working on here is weed control. We need to uh, be able to kill the weeds. They're pretty much lamb's quarter, common ragweed are the biggest ones we've historically fought. The lamb's quarter is trizine resistant, so it really cuts down on our ability to use a pre-emerged Sencor. Common ragweed has, is uh, ALS resistant, so we're uh, pretty much dependent on a PPOs for that. I found in the past that the hotter I can make the uh, Flexstar, the better kill I can get. You cannot make the uh, Flexstar hot enough. And when uh, you see another pro a new product out there that is going to get more product into the plant, aka hotter product, and they're telling you less burn, at first you think they're nuts and then you say, well, try it. It seems to have pr done, ev delivered everything as promised on uh, getting the product into the plant and uh, not hurting the soybeans. In this area, we have not been able to really recover a soybean plant if you kick it too hard. You don't spray on a hot day, you don't spray on a cold day, and the soybeans just don't recover like, from the uh, classic damage. And the, I'm not exactly sure why it don't, but the stress levels are higher here than most places in the Midwest. So we need a, we need a product that doesn't ding the beans, but yet kills the weeds. Well, crop oil wasn't killing the weeds, so he went to a methylated seed oil, but it was going to give you a lot of burn. So, no, so it looks like with this oral agar, I have not had the burn, and I've gotten to kill the weeds with it. It's definitely a good tool to have in the toolbox.